Hello everybody, this is Pratik Jaiswal from Apagen Solutions. Today we are going to see a demonstration of project management of Odoo 8.0. I am going into going to log into the system using a particular user. Based on the access rights given to the user, a particular employee or a user would be able to see different menus. As you can see, this particular employee can see a lot of menus. Our focus today would be to see the project management system. To, to process project management system, we would go to the project menu. Odoo's project management system primarily suited to service companies whose project entails working on time and billing to the same to the customer. You can see you can create projects within projects. You would be able to create tasks. You can manage issues for a particular projects. You can manage the contracts for these projects. You would be able to invoice the task. And as far as configuration is concerned, you would be able to create stages and issue versions and so on. Let's first start by creating a project. So for example, we choose a project manager. We choose a customer from the list. We would be able to set choose our team. You can choose whether you want to create tasks for the project, then check this box. If you want the timesheets to be entered, you need to check this box. And if you want the issues to be created for this project, you should check this box. In most cases scenario, you will always check all the three boxes. Here you would be able to control the privacy of the project. So if you make it public, it will be available on your website. If it is a customer project and you want to visible, make it visible to the customer, you can make it visible through the portal. Third is an internal project which all employees can access. And the fourth being it depends on the followers list that we choose in the social network. Ideal case scenario, you should choose the private project where it only select few people are able to see the project. You can set a start date and an end date, which will create an automatic Gantt chart. A escalation menu will allow you to escape whenever a, a task is escalated, it will escalate to a different project if you want and that can be chosen here sequence well does not hold much significance as far as the system is concerned the currency for billing and if there is a parent project then you select the parent project project stages can be completely changed as per your requirement and you would be able to see the sequence of the different stages required for a particular project Once the project is created, you can save the same. Now that the project has been created, the next step would be to create the task for the same. Okay. Please note that as soon as a project is created, the system creates a contract or an analytic account for us to manage the same. We will create analytic account in a while. Before that, let's create some tasks. So let's go ahead and create some task. You can choose which project it belongs to. By default, whoever is creating the task, his name will come to assign to and review. So this task is being assigned to Mr. 
and the reviewer is same user the deadline has been chosen say for example 31st January you can define the task you can put the start date and end date again sequence does not hold much importance as far as functionality is concerned you can choose a starting date say and an ending date ending date generally will keep on changing and the stage update that we do here can, can appear in case you are also using a sales management system automatically a sales order line can create a task in that case the order line will appear here once this task has been created we can click on save the person who has been assigned the job will automatically receive an email that a task has been assigned to him or her similarly we can create multiple tasks by duplicating information and just changing the names in this in this allows us to save time As I mentioned, a contract is created for a project as soon as a project is created. These are the different contracts. This is the one that we created. Here we can manage the different contract. You can set up an account manager. A template would be chosen very rarely in case you want to type typecast particular type of contracts a reference number you can choose a start date and end date which is generally the start date and the end date of the project how much service units have been prepaid so for example 50 you can set the billing system here so for example um, this project I want it to be based on timesheets and I expect say so much amount I also want it to be charge expenses say something like this I want to be set up a price list for this customer based on which the charging would be taken and it is asking do you want me to do you want expense and timesheet ratio so we have chosen it to be 100 percent you can choose the invoice to be created recurrently by choosing a schedule so for example i want invoice to be created every month of a particular date and on that date how whatever invoices have been created or lines have been created it will generate an automatic invoice and those invoice will appear here which you can create you can set the terms and conditions for the contract and once this is done you can click on save once these things have been set up the next step would be to work on task there is other different tasks of different projects you would be able to see them in a gantt view a graph view pie chart view and a line chart view so let's work on this task right now so as soon as I start working maybe I'll set it that I put it to specification I can change the stage manually when I start working I'll enter my work summary
in this way I'll keep on entering my timesheet and keep on updating my stages anybody who is following this would be able to track it here what has been the update and the progress the total number of hours would reflect here similarly the other tasks let's update this as well Once this is done, once this task is completed, the next step would be to set it to done. So for example, this task is finished, so I'll set it to done. As soon as the tasks are updated, automatically you would be able to see that in the project, We'll go to the contracts and see what is the update here in a particular contract. We can see that based on the pricing, now 30 man hours were used. So you can see that it shows 30 units consumed, 20 remaining. Based on the invoicing, it says how much time sheets, it says what is the expected, what is the remaining and what is the invoiceable so basically invoiceable means because we have created some timesheets and we would be able to invoice it so in case this is today is the date for invoicing so i can come here i can click on invoice and these timesheets can be invoiced so it tells me what are the timesheets to invoice for odoo erp implementation if i want to invoice it by task i would be able to see here so for example, let me invoice these two timesheets. It asks me for a lot of options. Do you want show the details of work, date, time spent, description, cost and so on. We click on create invoice and invoice is created. Please note that for the timesheet invoice has been created, it will not be available anymore. We come here, the details of invoices have come here. You put a date to the same. You click on validate to create the invoice. And your invoice is created. To make a fast payment, you can click on register payment on the same invoice. Choose your payment method. Click on register payment. And within two minutes of your time, your invoice is created. And the invoice is paid as well. If I went to my contracts again. you would be able to see an update on the invoice that is done okay the next step would be to see what is the status or in case some issues appear these are the different issues let's create one of the issues for a particular task
मैं चूज विच प्रोजेक्ट इट बिलोंग्स टू इफ अ पर्टिकुलर टास्क दैन आई चूज द टास्क एज वेल आई चूज अ वर्जन आई एक्सप्लेन द टास्क है I'll assign this task to a particular person. This person would be able to see this task. Then, then you would be able to see these tasks in different measures again. And in this way, you are also able to manage your task. Last but not the least. in the reporting you would be able to analyze your tasks based on project in different views line charts pie charts you would be able to export them as well you would be able to analyze your issues in a similar manner and last but not the least a cumulative flow of task to see which task are lying in different stages or say by project and then by task and so on that's all for project management we'll come up with the next demonstration soon thank you very much for your time bye bye